Welcome to Next Ones. I'm your host, Avery. And I'm Mike. And you're watching Who's Up Next with Avery and Mike. Today is a special day because Mike and I are extremely excited because we're one day away from college basketball season kicking off. Yes, sir. One day away. So tomorrow college basketball season kicks off. And honestly, I can't wait to see the action. I mean, there's so many good teams playing. So let's get it started. Me too. But before we get started, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir. We'll be highlighting up and coming ballers from around the world on this next one's channel. And if you are returning, thank you for supporting and continuing to support our next one's community. But back to the college action. I'm extremely excited for Duke versus Kentucky. How about you? Yeah, I, I am too. Uh, who I'm especially excited to see is RJ Barrett. I mean, RJ Barrett's a Canada native and, uh, you know, shout out to Drake, OVO and all that. But uh, I'm excited to see him and Duke do what they do. So. Yeah, RJ's nasty, but I'm really excited to see Tyler Hero. Um, I saw a couple highlights of him, not too much in high school, but we've even uploaded some highlights of him in the Bahamas. If you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description section below. So we had about two or three games on him, and I was very impressed. You yeah. know, being a freshman, he definitely is. Uh, he scores in in bunches, um, and he's definitely confident, which is you need to carry that over from being an elite high school prospect. 100%. But that's a game that we're sure that everybody's aware of. But you, what you might not be aware of is, you know, Pepperdine versus Cal State Dominguez Hill. It might not seem like it's a game you might want to tune in, but they have a PT peer themselves. Yeah, exactly. Cameron Everett from Pepperdine is one of those players to watch. I mean, he had a great year last year, and I expect him to do the same. And a player that I'm looking forward to see, Alex Garcia from Cal State Dominguez Hills. Um, what I saw him during the runs is he's a very athletic guard. <laughs> Bouncy. Bouncy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw him do through the legs yeah. dunk with ease. Um, you know, playing with pros, and I'm definitely excited to see him uh, start his college basketball career. The players that we're hyped about are Demisio Vaughn. His 16 points per game earned him a unanimous selection of being all MAC first team. He could have a chance to be player of the year and lead riders to the NCAA tournament, let alone a conference championship. Right, right, definitely. I mean, D Demisio Vaughn to me reminds me of like a young Charles Barkley. Um, he has a real low post game and he's a guard, size about 6'5 or so, but he's a strong guard. To where if you're a smaller, you know, forward or a guard, he's too strong for you. But if you're a big, he's too fast or too skilled. He has great footwork and I really expect him to come back and, you know, be a great piece for riders again. As you've seen in the, in the clips that we're going to upload this week, two things are going to happen on a fast break at Demisio. <laughs> Is, is running it. You're either going to take a foul or he's going to run you over. You might get hurt, so maybe three things. Um, like you said, big guard. Looking forward to seeing his highlights. Yeah. Next, we're going to be uploading Jalen Noel. He is a Seattle native, averaged 16 points per game, and led Washington in, in scoring as a freshman. He was three points away of beating Jonte Murray's uh, freshman scoring record, and if you're being compared to Jonte, in your first year, you're on the right track to success and maybe go to the NBA very yeah. fast. That's a fact, honestly. I, I like Jalen Lowell's like, game a lot. He's a one-on-one -on -one specialist. If you had a ball in the last you know, couple seconds, you probably want it in his hands. Washington put it in his hands every time when he came down the stretch, and he came through for him a lot. And um, I'm honestly expecting him to have another good year and, uh, and, and raise his draft stock to you know, maybe get selected in the draft next year. So. And later in the week, we'll be uploading Chase Jeter, the former five-star Duke recruit, is now back in action for the Arizona Wildcats. Chase Jeter honestly didn't get enough touches, or as many as he probably would have wanted to uh, at Duke. But honestly, I'm looking for him to come back and be a great piece for Arizona, especially at that center spot, because they need it, and he's going to be able to use that red shirt year and getting stronger and things like that to come back and be an even better player in the Pac-12. Awesome. I know we brought up Pepperdine earlier in our broadcast, but now we're going to bring it back and talk a little bit more about Cameron Edwards. He'll be joining his little, well, his little brother will be joining him at Pepperdine. Um, Kessler and they both be impact players for the Waves. Cameron averaged a team high in scoring, and he'll be, you know, a force to be reckoned with in the WCC. 100%. I think Cam is probably one of those players in WCC that's super versatile, um, that has the ability to step out shooting over about 36 to 37% from three last year, and has the ability to also be down low and use his bigger frame about at about 6'6 six, six and 215, actually. So being at that size, he's able to use his athleticism, run the floor, step out, do a whole bunch of different things that makes him such a huge piece in the WCC. We're going to keep it in, a, in the West Coast. Speaking of the WCC, a person I'm definitely hyped about is Devin Watson. The kid can definitely play. I personally have played a couple pickup games with him at USF. And uh, he's a crafty guard that you know, has a lot of heart. He led San Diego State and look for him and Jalen Daniels to lead the Aztecs at the tournament this year. 
Yeah, I like Devin Watson's game a lot. I mean, this might be a little bit of a hot take or something like that, but uh, I, I like to compare his game to Kyrie. I see a little Kyrie in him. And the way he's able to, you know, push the ball and get down the floor and, and, and stop on a dime and shoot his, his pull-up jumper. I mean, I think he's one of those players that in the Mountain West Conference is, is probably one of the better guards. He has a great handle and he has a great feel for the game to where he's able to score on all three from all three levels. I, I don't see anybody standing in front of him in that conference, so. Yeah, and let's not forget his passing ability as well. Uh, being a point guard, it's great that he can score, but he does have a rising you know, college superstar on his team, so he'll be able to feed Jalen McDaniels the ball and get easy assists will obviously um, get him to recognition on the pro level. And last we have Javon Blair. He could possibly be national sixth man of the year for the Georgetown Hoyas. Last year as a freshman he made the first town first team all Big East selection. And right now as a sophomore he's probably top ten guard in the Big East. So look out for him. Yeah, that's that's true. I think he probably is a top ten guard in the Big East. Um, he has a silky smooth game. He knows how to create his shot, and really, you can't give him space. You can't give him space from anywhere. Honestly, beyond half court, he pulls up from far, and he has a quick quick release. He's able to really stretch out the defense and use his jumper to make defenders commit to where when they do that, he gets to the rack and he's able to you know get off shots at the basket. But honestly, his jumper is the most lethal thing I've seen. Yeah, one thing that's not going to show up in the stat sheets is a player's confidence. You know, if you average, true, you know, true. a good amount of points as a freshman, you get in these accolades, you're returning your second season to, to make a big difference and make a big impact to your you squad wanna... and around the country. So, yeah. Javon Blair, I salute you. We're looking out for some big highlights from you this season. And remember, Avery and I will be back every week with updates on a new group of next ones. And we have a full catalog of players that you might have heard of, like Zion Williamson, or players you never heard of, like Alex Garcia from Dominguez Hills. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you can be the first to know about these elite athletes. That's it, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to comment who you think is up next, players that we should be featuring, and thank you for support. Till next time. Yes sir, peace.